some of the things that used to be major barriers of entry, like they, they shouldn't really be barriers of entry when we, now that we have AI. Yeah. I mean, so. the data one, I've definitely heard that, um, from clients and you know, what I would say to that is you can really run these in parallel because let's take personalization, for example, like that will, to do that at scale, yeah, your data is going to need to be in a really good place. You need to have all of your customer information all consolidated somewhere. But you need you can run in parallel actually prototyping and demonstrating um, at a smaller manageable scale that it's going to deliver the results that you need and and refine that and work on refining the data and then what hap what you need is that they these two things come together mm -hmm. um, and, and then you can really apply it at scale. But actually, if you just sat and waited to get the data right and you're not doing this bit in parallel then they become like, they have to be run in series and the whole thing takes longer to get the end result. And meanwhile, your competitors are running off and doing it. That's, that should be <laughs> the thing that's pushing them. Like, what are your competitors doing? So there's, there's like, um, the way I see it, there's like a barrier a sort of limit for certain industries where you have things like e-commerce, as long as there's not a lot of rich personalized data, um, and retail and all these other kind of business structures that sit down here, universities or schools and stuff where you can kind of make, do a lot of testing with the business structures you have before you hit this, okay, we're approaching something that could have some security problems. When you start getting into like the banks and finance, uh, finance industries, that security risk increases exponentially. Yeah. Um, for particularly for private data, business data, all that type of stuff. Um, yeah. But then, at the same time, in support of what you're saying, there should be a way for you to be able to start testing things in pilot. Um, by what you can do now with AI is just generate fake data. Yeah. 